another makeup tutorial and this time I will be showing you guys a tutorial on how to get this peachy makeup look it's totally wearable and quite simple so in today's video I will be showing you guys a tutorial and I'll be using this foundation by Sophia Beauty and you guys can check them out this is the foundation All right and um, I'm in the shade medium that's in the shade number two the inside looks like this and it comes with a sponge applicator as well so this foundation is a medium to light coverage so it is really suitable for everyday use and you will see in the video later on how I used this product with a foundation brush instead of the sponge applicator because I'm more comfortable using the foundation brush when using cake or cream foundation. The coverage is totally totally buildable so you can um, slowly build the coverage more if you want more coverage. But for everyday look, this is um, a good foundation that you can use. So if you're interested to know how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. As always, start with a clean face. For primer, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Base Magic and apply it all over my face. As for foundation, I'm going to use the Sophia Beauty Glam and Glow Foundation in the shade Medium. Using a foundation brush, I'm going to apply this foundation evenly as possible all over my face. Then use a beauty blender to blend it all out. Now time to prep the eyes. I'm going to use this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and just apply it all over my eyelids. And then I realized that I should have done my brows first, so I went to do my brows. If you want to see how I do my brows in detail, you can click on the link below to my eyebrow tutorial. Moving on, I'm going to take this Morphe 35O palette and use this dark orange shade right here and apply it all over the crease of my eyes. The pigmentation of this eyeshadow palette is just unbelievable. Just look at that color! Then take a blending brush and just blend out all the harsh lines. Now take this brown color right here and start applying it starting from the outer V of your eye and slowly building the color towards the center of your crease. Next, I'm going to take this light orange color right here and start to pack that all over the center of my eyelids. Remember, blending is key. So, blend and blend! Then, taking a smaller brush, we're going to apply the same orange color that we applied on the crease, now all over the lower lash line. Then take the same brown color and just apply it on the outer corners of the lower lash line. Yes, it's that time again ladies, it's time to curl your lashes. As usual, I'm gonna take this Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and just apply it all over my lower lashes. As for my top lashes, I'm going to use this TARDIS Lash Paint by Tarte. Mm -hmm. 
For eyeliner, I'm going to use this Tarte Amazonian Clay Pot Liner and start creating the perfect wing for this look. To highlight and conceal, I'm going to use this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and apply it on the high points of my face. I just bought this and now I understand what other people are raving about. This stuff is so good! It also blends out so well. I just love it. Now time to contour. I'm going to use this NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo and using the contour shade to sculpt my cheekbones. To set my contour, I'm going to use this TARDIS Contour Palette and taking the two contour shades, I'm going to apply it at the places where I have contoured before. Now, taking the highlight shade from the NYX Face Duo, I'm going to apply it to the bottom of my contour. To set my highlight in place, I'm going to use this Nude Illusion Loose Powder from Catrice and apply it to the areas where I highlighted before. Next, taking the contour shade number 5 from the TARDIS Contour Palette, I'm just sculpting my nose. Then use the highlight shade from the same palette to highlight the bridge of your nose. Now time for some blush. I'm going to use this Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and just apply the Amaretto shade to the apples of my cheeks. Then take the highlight shade Champagne Pop and apply it to the tops of your cheeks, tips of your nose, your brow bone, and also the cupid's bow. I'm always doing ombre lips, so this time I will do the same but in an orangey shade. So I will list down all the products that I use in the description box below for you to refer to. To mattify the lips, just apply loose powder. Apply some highlighter to the inner corners of the eyes as well to brighten up the look. Almost done! Now just pop on some natural looking lashes. Details on my false lashes and my contact lenses are in the description box as well. Using this NYX Retractable Eyeliner, I'm going to apply it on the waterline. Finally, set everything in place with a setting spray. And now you're ready to take over the world. So this is the final look. It's very orangey, very earth toned, so it's suitable for fall and it's also um, very wearable for a normal day out if you have the extra time to do. 
your makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can click on the subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video, inshallah. Bye!